Okay, so I have two mirrors here. Actually, I actually have two setups. Here's just a plain, plain flat mirror. You can see um, my reflection in this. And then right here, I have three mirrors at right angles to each other to make a little box. And so this is a retro reflector, and this is just a plain mirror. And let me show you how it works. So let me turn off the light. Come over here. Let's just turn off the light. Okay, so I have a flashlight right here. And if I look at the plain mirror and if I shine it, I'm holding the flashlight right by the phone, you can see that I get a reflection. If I move over here and shine it at that, then the light reflects away and not back to the camera and I don't see it. So it's actually kind of dark. You see that? The mirror itself is dark. Okay, but what if I do it to the retro reflector? You see there that it doesn't matter what angle I look at the reflector, I still see, it's not a perfect reflector, a bright reflection. And so this is a retro reflector. It reflects light back the same way it comes in no matter what angle you're viewing it from. There are other retro reflectors that you may have seen. Here is one, I'm gonna look down at my feet. Look at that. See the shiny stuff in the shoelace right down there in the middle? Those are retro reflectors. So just like it's not a square, but it is a way to reflect the light back the same way. Stop signs, uh, street signs, running gear, you'll see a lot of retro reflector stuff on it. And let me show you how it works on the board. I found a little piece of retro reflector tape. So you see the stuff all over the place. Uh, it's on jackets or things that, or shoes or sportswear, stuff that we're outside. And the point is that it makes you more visible to a lighted object at night. So let's think about uh, a plain mirror right here. Let's say that here is my eye and then here is my flashlight. So in this case, the flashlight, the light's gonna come out of the flashlight, it's gonna bounce off of that, come back and it hit me in the eye and I can see it. But what if this is tilted or uh, I move it in a different location? So let's just tilt it. So now it looks like this. So only in that certain spot could I see it. So now the light's gonna come out and reflect that way, and it doesn't get into my eye. So my eye just sees darkness, if it's completely dark at night, and that's bad. I wanna be able to see that reflected light so I can know that there's an object there. So a plain flat mirror doesn't work. Um, shiny material doesn't really work that well because now let's say I have aluminum foil, and so it's kind of bent like that. Well, some of the light may indeed bounce back, but just as much is gonna reflect away. Now, there is an important point here. What if I have uh, the, mi the mirror tilted like this? No, I'm gonna have it straight. Straight mirror, but I put the flashlight over here. It misses. So you have to have the flashlight near your eye in order for this to work, okay? Um, in, in a car, that's true, right? The car headlights are in essentially in the same area as your, as your eyes. Okay, so now let's look at a retro reflector. Here is a part of a retro reflector. I'm gonna take my, obviously if I, if I look at it straight on, the light's gonna bounce straight back and it would work. So let's tilt this. It has to be a right angle. So this is the back of the mirror. So here's my eye. That's the eye. That's the eye. And then here's the flashlight. So now the light's gonna come in like this. It's gonna reflect off down here and then back here. So it's gonna come back the same way that it came in and my, you know, things don't have to be exactly right lined up, but it will go back to my eye and I will see it. And it doesn't matter where that is tilted, I'm still gonna be able to get the light to reflect back. So this is a right angle um, retro reflector. And they make these kind of things that look like, they, they're like in a circle with lines through it. They're made out of metal and you put them on your kayak when you're going sea kayaking. There's, it's a radar retro reflector. It does the same thing. Radar comes in any way, it's gonna bounce back to the thing and it gives you a brighter, it's like anti-stealth. You don't want to be stealth. You want other boats to see you. 
Now there's another way to make a retroreflector with the tape, and it usually uses these tiny, tiny, tiny beads. It turns out that if I have a tiny glass bead, light comes in and it reflects off the back and then it bounces back. So you can get this really, really tiny glass bead stuff and paint it on things to make retroreflectors. That is one way to do it. There are other ways too. But all of those, it's important to realize that if light bounces back to the observer, it's not bouncing back to other places. But that's what you want. You want all that light to go back to this place so you can really see it. So you can put it on uh, your shoes, on your rain jacket. You can put it on the markers in the middle of the road so that they reflect back to the, to the observer. This is a great test for you. Go out to the road at night. Don't play in the road at night. So it has these markers in there and they have the bumps with the retro reflectors. And so if you're driving in a car, right here's my eye, it looks like they're super lit up. But if you're off to the side, it doesn't because all that light's reflecting back the way it came. So that's a retroreflector.